What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you the best binder you can buy for your cards. It's inside this big box right here. So let's go take a look. Alrighty guys, here is the box. Shout out to the Sleeve Saloon for hooking us up with the binder. Uh, they aren't the company that made the binder, but uh, they're a good company. They sell sleeves mainly uh, and stuff to protect your cards. So I'm going to open it upside down so you don't see my address. Uh, okay. So guys, just before we open this thing up, I just want to remind everyone that I have a booster box giveaway. Link in the description box below. It's a free Battle Styles booster box. Feel free to enter that. Free to anyone around the world or whatever like that. Uh, I give away booster boxes every time we hit 1,000 subscribers. So feel free to join in that. Let's get back to the video. Okay, guys, the box is officially empty. We can throw that aside. And we have the binders. That's right, S. Binders. I bought two because they're that good. Now, this is wrapped extremely well. You might see a logo that you might recognize if you're in Australia. And this is literally, I gotta say, the best binders you can get in Australia. Australia made and all that jazz. We got other things in here, the Sleeve Saloon once again. And he's hooked us up with other things too. So we got one of these uh, ETB Pokemon Training Card game rules. Probably not the ETB one, but um, there's so many different ones of these. I think I have a few as well, but nonetheless, it was free. So free stuff is always nice. Then we also got some stickers, Sword and Shield stickers. I might add this to a giveaway or something, but that's really cool too. Um, anytime you get free stuff, it's always really cool. Now, this should be interesting. Um, the sleevesaloon.com.au. So, Australia company. Let's take a look what's inside. We got the Colonel wishing us luck. Um, don't really expect much out of this because, honestly, it's for free. And they didn't have to do that, but that's very nice of a company to do so. Um, I'd say this is like a sleeve saloon. Very nice. I love the texture on that card as well. Um, there's the Instagram, Facebook. Check them out. Uh, and then we got Azuelus, a Flechinda, a Schwovet, Shelmet, Ponpour. Teddiosaura. Alright, that's alright. That's not bad. Um, considering it was free. Free, free, free. Um, what do we have in here? I actually bought some sleeves. So, let's take a look at this because the company that I bought the binder off, or like, that makes the binders, also makes their own sleeves and makes card savers and all this other stuff. One sec. Are you ready for this? That's right. Penny sleeves. What for? To put the cards in, of course. Um, ooh. The traders. Ah, oh, these aren't the palms of grading penny sleeves. But, nonetheless, they are sleeves. Alright. I don't really know that brand, to be honest. But, um, yeah. I mean, there's so many people that do sleeves and other stuff. I like how it's got the kangaroo on the top. So, it's like, kind of... Representing Australia, yo. <laughs> um, so how many I got? I got 10. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, that's like a thousand. Um, let's get into these binders. These are what this video is all about. Um, currently, they are out of stock. So if you wanted to get one, I don't think they have any available. But they've got them on pre-order. Man, he did a really good job packaging this up. And if you guys don't remember Palms Off Gaming, that's uh, the guy that makes this stuff, or the business name. Um, I actually made a video a while ago showing my PSA suitcase. One sec again. That's a lot of bubble wrap. Whoop. Okay, check this out. This is like never really seen before on other items. Palms Off Gaming. Your binder comes in a bag. Look at that. <laughs> That's 
amazing. Like, if you want to bring your binder, your portfolio around, it comes in a bag. That is nice. And what I was trying to say before about the, the PSA case, um, it's made from these guys too, but I don't think they make it anymore. But just in case you didn't watch that video, I'll have it linked somewhere. And also, you can have a quick look now. All right, palms off gaming suitcase here. And it contains my PSA cards, as you can see. Palms off gaming. Inside the suitcase, well, you've probably seen it before. It's just PSA storage and all that, but really cool. Let's go back to the binders. All right, we're gonna look at one because we don't need to look at two. I bought two because these are gonna be my new vintage binders. And I don't normally invest in binders. You've seen them before. They're just my average office work binders for my cards. But these ones are gonna be for my vintage collection. If it can slide out, because it's all tightly wound. Wow, how cool is that? Just a bag for your binder. Ooh. Now, this is my first time buying one of these binders, but I've seen so many reviews. I know it's good. I trust them. My suitcase is made by them, as I said before. So I know it's good quality and just very nice to actually have a good binder. Um, and I don't need to buy Ultra Pro sleeves anymore. But let's take off the protector on it. This bad boy is very light. I like that. Um, I think it's got like a leather texture to it. Very cool. Um, palms off gaming. And yeah, it's got a zip. That's a nice feature there so you can protect your cards. As in they won't get anything through them. As you've probably seen in my other binders. These ones here are like, I guess, unprotected. As you can see, dust can get into them. And I think that's a, a great benefit from getting these kind of binders. You really do got to invest in some good binders. Like these, this binder here is from Officeworks, which is an Australian, like, I guess, um, kind of shop that supplies school stuff and all that. So, um, I mean, it's a good binder, but it's like nowhere near the same level. And this binder cost me like $7.00. Whereas this binder would have costed me $37, $37 for a really nice binder. And I know the cards are going to keep safe. And that's what you want, you know. I guess if you're investing in completing sets or collecting sets, whether it's Pokemon or not. So the zip feature is really cool. And there it is, guys. Very nice. You got a bit of a pocket here too to store maybe a list of some sort if you wanted to store lists. Um, it's got the usual black feature on the bottom and then it's side inserts, not on the top. It's all side. No double slided or anything like that. It's just, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was doing with some of the other cards. Um, I did that a lot with the modern stuff. But, you know, with the vintage, I definitely want to have, you know, sleeve every single card, put them in nicely, just make it look presentable and stuff. Um, it's about time I invested in a nice binder. This is definitely the best binder I've ever had. And I'm pretty sure the best, the cheapest, like overall, price-wise, the look, the style, uh, the whole, the features, like the bag and all that, just is top-notch. I gotta say, guys, uh, I wouldn't really recommend something I wouldn't like or I wouldn't buy myself. I bought two. I'll probably buy another two. Um, I hear there might be a white color version as well, which I think looks really nice. I think I've seen a picture of it one time. And, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get that. I think that will be available at, at palmsoffgaming.com.au. I think it is um, for a good price. I mean, it's under 50 It's $40. Uh, it's kind of competitive with Ultra Pro and all the other binders that sell stuff, but extremely light, comes with a carry bag, comes with a zip along the side, kind of a leather finish, and, you know, keep your cards safe, make it look nice, and that's all you can really want, I guess. 
I believe it holds 300 or so, or nearly 400 cards. I'm sure I'd edit it there somewhere. I'll put the right number. I, I'm not really sure, and I don't want to give false information, but that's what it is, guys. Really nice. Let me know what you think of this binder if you're interested. Um, there'll be a link down below for the website if you want to check them out. Palms of Gaming, highly recommend. And that's pretty much it. Also, 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 another announcement. I plan on transitioning my vintage cards from there into here. And I'll probably do that as my first live video um, where I just pretty much transfer the cards over and we can have conversations live. I think that'll be fun. Um, and you can watch me put the cards in if you want. Or um, I've never done a live before, but I think it'll be super duper fun if that'll be like the first interactional video we do. And, uh, you know, I can sleeve them up as we go along. You can have a look. We can have a chat. Whatever you want. QA. You know how it is. That's all, guys. I'll see you in two days' time. Bye. <laughs>